By the end of this video, you're going to have all the tricks, tips, and know-how you need to make amazing raid screens like this. Hey, Penguin! How are you doing, man? Hey, Flo, welcome in. How is everyone doing? I was actually lurking. I was actually lurking on you to get my drop. So before we get into it, just a quick message to say: I do also stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash focus sloth. So if you like this kind of stuff, drop me a follow over there, sub to YouTube, there'll be more stuff coming. So for this, you're gonna need three things. As with all the cool stuff I do on my stream, you're gonna need streamer.bot. You're also gonna need the move transition plugin from Exceldro, and also the source clone also from Exceldro. I'll put links for all of these down in the description. So the first thing you need to do is plan out all the elements of the scene. So you see what I've done here, I've just made four boxes, Fill them with images. It's not perfect. I'm not a graphic designer. Don't come at me. But this is how it's going to look when it's all put together. Next, you're going to create the masks that we're going to use. So to do that, all you have to do is go new layer. And just make it white. There we go. And then hide the top layer. What you're going to do, you're going to get your tool and you're just going to select each box. Bring the layer back cut that and then edit paste as new layer so now you have this new layer which is just the box and you're going to do that for each of the four boxes so once you've done that you should have four layers that when they're all shown come together like a jigsaw puzzle to cover the screen then what we need to do is export each one of these individually so you just want one showing and then file export as and then name it whatever you want. You can see I've already made them. So I just put mask bottom left, mask bottom right, top left, top right, just so I know which ones are which for later. So then once you've done all that, you're gonna go into your OBS, you're gonna make a new scene called Raid Base and just put this as an image on it. And then this is gonna be the base that we're gonna use for the next step. So next we need to add in all the text and picture elements that we want in our screen. So if we start by adding a text source, so we'll just call this one Raid. So I like to use impact on, I'm just going to be text Raid. Cool. Drag that into the top right. Of course, you can put whatever you want, wherever you want. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly outline that in black. Make that a bit thicker. Nice. So once you've gotten that, we want to start making the variables. So if you see on the first, you've got this one up here, which says how many viewers are raiding with, and this down here that says who's raiding and their picture. So to do that, we're going to need stream bot. But to set it up, if you just make a text file, if we call this raid numbers uh, again we'll select font to go with the rest of it you don't actually need to put anything in but if we just put something in here and then we can need another text source down here uh, we'll call this radar again match font of course outline it do whatever you want with it uh, just a little placeholder text there cool and then what we're gonna need we're gonna need a browser source so we'll call this one raid pick so you don't actually need to put anything in there at the moment just resize it how you want it there and then you can just add your cam in so now we're gonna use streamer.bot to change all of these variable things and tell them what needs to happen so if we just add a new action, we're going to call it raid. So now we're going to start building our commands. So the first thing we need to do is go to Twitch user, get user info for target. So this is going to tell StreamerBot just to grab all the information of the person who raided us. So let's type user. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do, it's going to add a little delay. So to do that, you just go core delay and we'll just say 
a second. Then next you want to do, you want it to play a sound. You're going to go to core, sounds, play sound here. And then we're going to select file play. Uh, so I just made a little clip of Pokemon, Pokemon song. Okay. Oh, one thing I did forget, when you're doing your play sound, untick this finish playing before continuing. Otherwise, it will play the whole thing and then do everything. So this is where it's going to change all the information. So you go OBS, Sources, and down here you've got Set GDI Text. So it's going to ask you which version of OBS you want to change. So for me, it's the portable version. Scene, Raid Base, Source. So we want to go raid numbers. So in here, where it says what you want to change your text to, you're just going to type with, and then percent, viewers, percent, and then viewers. So that's going to tell it to set it as with, and then it's going to pull the data for how many viewers have been raided with, input it there, viewers. So it'll say like with 10 viewers. So next we want to change the raid name. So again, we're going to go down to OBS, sources, set GDI text, portable, raid base, and so for this one, you're going to go raider, and then you're going to go percent, user, percent. That's going to grab the person's username, then is raiding. Okay, so now we're going to change the Raiders profile image. So to do that, you need to go to OBS, Sources, and this time set browser source URL. So again, choose what you want. Scene, source, raid pick, and in the URL, you can type percent target user profile image URL percent. That's going to grab that information and pull it in. So now you've got that part set up, we can run a little test. So just go to the Platforms tab, Twitch, Events, Raid. And then here you can choose which action. So obviously we're going to choose the Raid action. Select, and we'll say Test with 15 viewers. And then click the Test button, and it should all work. Just like that. So you can see this has changed to say how many viewers, this has changed to say my name, and this has changed to say my picture. Obviously everything's a bit big, so what you need to do now, you just need to resize so everything actually fits once it's been filled in. There we go, perfect. If you want, you can put a promo on this raid pick. Uh, go filter. Add, no, not color correction. Add chroma key. And you can chroma key custom, select color, pick screen color. Okay. Obviously bring the lightness down, this down, this down, and it should just cut out that background thing and just give you that little clear picture. So now you've got all this planned out, you can do whatever you want to the text. You can put a stroke on it, you can, uh, on mine, I have it, so this is shaking, and this is slightly distorted, because I've got some more, more plugins that you can affect things with. So, use your creativity, go wild, do whatever you want with it. So now we've got all of these in place, we're going to need to work out all the moving parts. So for that, we're just going to go down, make a new scene, so we're going to call it Raid Actual, and this will bring this up. And what you need to do is you need to add source clone so this is going to let you add a source but add independent filters that will only affect this it'll create a new source clone so we'll just call this raid copy clone type source clone raid base there we go so next what we're going to do we're going to add the masks we made earlier so to do that what you've got to do is filters Effect filters and go to image mask and blend. 
So this is going to give you the, the mask. So you need to go and find that mask. So once you've found the file with the masks in, you just go the mask will start with top right. And when you apply this, it will just show the top right hand segment. There we go. And now we just need to do this four more times. So as you can see, what we've done now, we've got four copies and each of them is a separate segment. So now what we can do, we can rename these just to make things a little bit easier. So for example, this one is top right. So we'll just rename this top right and then do it with the others. So now for the fun part, we're going to set up all the movement. So we need to do it on the scene, right click, filters, and then you have all these new ones, move action, move source, move value, etc. So what we want is we want a move source. So if we call this top left, out. So we're going to choose the source we want to move. So we want to move top left. And we want to get the position. So what we need to do is highlight top left, drag it out of scene, wherever you want it to come in from. And then click get transform. So this will tell it when you activate the filter, move it out. So if we move it back in, I'll show you. Activate the filter, shoom, there it goes. And what we need to do, we need to make an in and then out for each one. So if we then make a new one, move source, top left, in. We'll want it to move to this position. Make sure you've got the right one selected, otherwise it'll mug it all up. Top left, we want it to move back to this position, transform. So when we, highlight, when we activate this one, it goes out. When we activate this one, it goes in. There's some other things you can mess around with here. Delays, durations, easing. You can play around with that, find out what feels good for you. And we need to do that for each segment. So whichever way you want to come in from, disappearing, that's all up to you. You can choose what you do there. So as you can see here, I've set them all up. I've got top left, in and out, top right, in and out, bottom right, in and out, bottom left, in and out. It doesn't matter which order you do them in, the order will come later. But just make sure on each one, for whatever section you're moving, that's the source you've got highlighted. So if we go through it, we see you've got top left out, in, top right out, in, out, in, out, and in. So before the next step, you just want to activate all the out filters. So you've got all clear on the screen. So now we're going to go back to Streamerbot and back to this raid action we made earlier. So we still got all of this, which is the base, which sets the text and everything. Now we're just going to add to it to add the movement. So what we're going to do is right click OBS scenes and set scene filter state. So we're going to choose the version over here. Choose the scene you made. So ours is raid actual. And then the filter. So this is where you're going to choose which bit popped in first. So we're going to want the top right. So we want TR in visible. So that's going to trigger that to go. And then we're just going to need to make a little delay. In fact, we can just copy this one second delay. And then go to the next one, OBS, scenes, let's see, filter state, actual, so we're going to top left, wait a second, top right in, wait a second, scenes, let's see, filter state, OBS portal, and then we're going to go, I don't know, bottom left in. Wait a second. And then the last one, OBS. Please. Bottom right in. So now what we're telling it to do is after it started playing music and changed the text, we want it to 
trigger the top left in, wait a second, top right in, wait a second, bottom left in, wait a second, bottom right in. So after they're all in, you're going to want it to wait for a little bit. We'll just say, I don't know, five seconds. You can always play around with this and change it. And then you'll want to move them all out. And you can either move them all out one by one, or you can move them all out at the same time, whatever you like. So we're just going to go to OBS, Scenes, 13 Filter, and then just find the outgoing filters. So top left out, copy sub action, base sub action, base sub action, base sub action, and then just go in and change the different ones. Out, top right out, bottom right out. And bottom left out. So it's going to tell them to move it all in, wait five seconds, move them all out. So now if we hit test, so now if we go and test it, we'll go platforms, Twitch, raid, test with say 100 viewers, see what it does. And it brings everything in. Then it'll wait for a bit. And zoom everything out again. So there you have it. Go forth and make awesome stuff. Um, yeah, don't forget I stream on Twitch. So, you know, if you like my stuff and that, just come and give me a follow over there. We play games at the moment. I'm playing a hell of a lot of Honkai Star Rail. Um, but Diablo 4 is out soon, so who knows. Uh, anyway, thanks very much. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you soon. Bye.